okay i have two uh, terminals opened and one is for uh, and this uh, here uh, php artisan server is running and in this terminal uh, npm run watch is running okay so now if we visit here we have this and i have added some categories because i have to perform load more operation here so first of all we have to make a button here so let's uh, go to our resources and then js and then views and then categories okay here uh, okay after the table and okay yes after this table we can make a button button type it simple button and let's give it a plus of button button prime and also button sim and we can make a span and give it a class of fa fa uh, arrow down and also load more text okay so let's reload yeah it's fine but it should be uh, uh, in the center okay so we can easily we can take a claw uh, a tail a txt center and we can place this here or you can do uh, a better css with this or uh, maybe some bootstrap classes okay so now reload this is fine uh, now let's inside our app http controllers and category controllers we have to define our pagination okay so uh, it's already paginate but it's bring uh, after 15 record mean on each page it will display 15 records so we will give it only five for now and if we come back these shelves are seven uh, okay these categories are seven so let's reload it is now five okay so uh if we go to our inspect element and then console uh, whenever we are uh, we are loading data so we have to console this to see what we are getting from the server so here so here we console the response save it and then reload okay we are getting these things and inside data we have the data which are the categories we are displaying here and we have the current page and also we have the last page so these two will help us to make a check on our load action if the current page is less than last page then we have to display this load more button uh, and perform the load more uh, action otherwise no so and the next thing uh, then if you look here we have this next page url so we have to send the same thing if we uh, visit this in our new tab you see now the current page is two and also the last page is two so this means that we are on a uh, last page right now but if we look here we have now the current page one and the last page two so this is a perfect check for us uh and uh, our url will be something like this so if you look at this so you look here uh we have current page two last page two and also our url will be, will be always like this but it's it's uh, now null because we are on last page so okay uh, so simply we have to Make a check here 
let's come back here and we'll say like f is one start sponsor data dot current page less than response data dot last page so copy this paste it here and now we need to make like uh, more exists and let's try to put it would be true Uh, so our current page is uh, if less than uh, last page then we have to okay by the way, let's make it false okay so this dot more exist will be now true otherwise this dot more exist will be false and we have to do one more thing and that will be this dot next page should be response dot data dot current page plus one okay so it will add one and then uh, it will assign this to this thing and by default it will be zero so now uh, if we look here here we can use vf or v show so let's use v show here so now uh, whenever the more more exist as true then we will see this button otherwise we will not so this is fine and also we need to make a load more method here so whenever someone click on this button we don't click load more and let's define this method below this update category and SA method okay we need to try gauge constant response equal to await category service dot let's say dot more you have to define this but here we will pass this dot next page Okay, and let's console this response here. You see what we are getting from the server. So inside category, we need to export one more function, and it will be load more. It will get next page, and simply to TP request. I'll get type and we need categories. Same this, and then uh, question mark. If we look here. We have question mark and then equal and then the page number. Okay, so let's put completely here, and we will. Have to send out next page. Okay, so we are sending it from here and then we are sending it to the server. Let's save it. Let's reload. Okay, so once we click here, we are getting the data and set data we have now current page last page and also we are getting only two records so uh, 
now we have we need to have the same check here let's copy this check and let's paste it here okay okay and here we can simply say something like uh, error message and we can say that some error occurred during loading more categories that's enough <coughs> Okay, now let's, uh, okay, what we are doing, we are doing nothing here. Okay, but let's check. If we click here, yeah, the record are loaded and the button disappeared because our check is working, okay. So now, uh, we have to, uh, append these records to our uh, categories array okay so how can we do that let's start or we can make a look through the response to data 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 for each and let's from here this dot categories dot push and we will push data one by one okay so let's test this Okay, so we have jacket classes flower perfume and noodles if we click here okay now we have shirt also and subcare banner also and let's check out database So I think it's displaying in a correct order. Like uh, we need. So the first one should be should be shared. Now uh, uh, as we are we are loading it in a descending order. So uh, jacket glasses, flower protein noodles, and then. Uh, displaying shirt and then subject banner so uh, it's working just fine okay so uh, our load more operation is done and in the next tutorial we will also work on search